Time for sports on Wake Up Missoula. I'm Cole Johnson and this... I'm Captain Cross. And we are the Spartan Live football announcers for the Missoula Sentinel football team. And Sentinel with a big time road win over um, Billing Skyview uh, this past Friday night, 25 to 20. It was a game in which they were behind in the fourth quarter. They were down 20 to 13, but they scored 12 unanswered points in the fourth to win that game. They go to three and two in the conference. Um, a game in which, you know, maybe they were supposed to win handedly, but they came, they came from behind. It's their second road win in a row. They're three and two, as I mentioned, Kempson. Uh, you look at the resiliency of this team, uh, Caden Messer with two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Um, what do you have to say um, just for this team being able to come back the way that they did? Well, Elias DeWaters was a key in that as well because he rushed for 160 yards, uh, averaging almost 27 yards per touch, which is, which is a lot. Um, and Mitch Roberts, though, was, even though he was just 9 of 18 passing, just had uh, – less than 150 yards. He had two fourth quarter touchdown tosses, like you said, to Caden Messer. <clears throat> and that was huge for Sentinel to be able to come back in that game and win a game that they were supposed to win on the road. Billing Skyview is a team that's struggling a bit right now. Sentinel's a team with playoff aspirations. Sentinel should go on the road and win that game. And you'll take a comeback road victory over a, uh, over a road loss any day or a loss of any kind any day, for sure. So, uh, yeah, Mitch Roberts, Elias DeWaters were huge. Connor Crawford also had a rushing touchdown, I believe. And even though they had a couple miscues, they missed a couple uh, point-after attempts. They uh, had a fumble that led to uh, Billing Skyview. Billing Skyview, after going down 13 nothing, credit them, too, because they were able to show, uh, show that they had some uh, – they were resilient as well as far as they um, – were down 13 nothing came back and were actually leading 20 to 13 in the second half and so Sentinel though was able to uh, stand tall and be able to uh, show poise down the stretch in that game and uh, Brian Jakubowski actually made the game clinching interception after a couple of penalties uh, on Skyview's final drive uh, put them in position to possibly win that game and so Sentinel just coming through on the road, uh, a, a great team win after uh, a couple mistakes, uh, let Skyview take the lead once again, like we talked about. And then, um, yeah, they were able to emerge victorious, which is huge because again, puts them to three and two and it, it keeps them right on pace uh, for in the playoff race. Yeah, no doubt about it. It was a big road win, their second in a row. DeWaters had 160 yards rushing in that game. He had a 34 yard touchdown. Um, you know, the depth on the team has been awesome. You know, you have the Crawford and uh, DeWaters one-two punch there running the football. A couple missed extra points in the game. Um, some things you have to clean up in order to get ready for the game against Glacier. And speaking of uh, Glacier High, uh, they're undefeated 5-0. and It's their homecoming game for Missoula Sentinel um, this Friday night. Uh, they got a chance to, you know, make a playoff push. Potentially, who knows, catapult themselves into that number four spot and, you know, potentially get a home game if they do make the playoffs. So what do you see in that game? How do you think Missoula Sentinel is going to pull off the upset this Friday night? Yeah, well, when I look at that game, I see a Kalispell Glacier team that's 5-0. and And the reason they're 5-0 and is because they are a legitimate state title contender. Billing Senior is the class of AA football in the state of Montana. Kalispell Glacier, though, is making a name for themselves. And they're right there with them at 5-0 and halfway through the season. And at the halfway mark, you kind of start getting a feel for who you are as a team. And Kalispell Glacier seems to be legit. They've dealt with some adversity. They had a home game against Great Falls, where Great Falls, who's a team that's one and four now, was had Glacier on the ropes for at least the first half of that game. And so then they were able to come, uh, Glacier was able to rally in that game. And another important thing is Glacier is basically coming off a bye week because they had Hellgate on the schedule last week and Hellgate forfeited their season. They're not playing varsity football because of a lack of manpower. So um, that's huge to look at. Glacier is just always is a perennial playoff team. And <clears throat> we expected uh, Sentinel to struggle on the road against Helena, who's a perennial playoff team, especially after we saw Big Sky uh, kind of have their way in the run game in, in the rivalry game in Missoula. And so, but uh, Sentinel was able to stand tall in that game. And then now they have two wins in a row on the road, which gives you momentum coming back home. It's homecoming. It's a huge game. To date, it's the biggest game um, this this uh, season in Missoula. 
because Sentinel, again, trying to make that playoff push. Kalispell Glacier, it's pretty solidly uh, a playoff team, barring a catastrophe, obviously. But uh, So it's going to be a great measuring stick, if nothing else. I think if, if Sentinel can get off to a good start and just make sure that they get their running game going and then Mitch Roberts can have some of the play-action game and, some, uh, and also um, get his legs involved as well, I think that's when they're at their best. The defense just has to continue to be opportunistic um, and uh, create more opportunities because against a really good team like Glacier, you have to not only maximize the opportunities that you get, but you also have to create some opportunities of your own. And so that's going to be huge for Sentinel to do on this Friday night in a huge game for homecoming. And um, obviously, if, <laughs> if possible, uh, I think that Sentinel head coach Dane Oliver, the players, the staff, all the supporters would, would prefer you to be in the stands. Yeah. Um, but if you can't make it, then we'll have it for you on Spartan Life. Yeah, this is a big game indeed, for sure. It's homecoming for the Spartans. Going to the standings real quick, Billings Sr. is 5-0 along with Glacier, who's also 5-0. Billings West and Bozeman are 4-1. Missoula Big Sky, they lost to Billings West last Friday. That dropped them down to 3-2. Helena is 3-2, and, and Missoula Sentinel is 3-2 on the year right now. They're sitting in sixth place. So, looking forward, Friday night, we're going to be doing the game out at Missoula County Stadium on the campus of Big Sky High School. You can catch it on MCAT. Uh, just click on the uh, high school sports link, uh, and we are the Spartan Live uh, broadcasters for that game. Uh, for um, Wake Up Missoula, I'm Cole Johnson. I'm Kempson Cross. Thanks for watching.